Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today we're at Pop Century at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. As you can see, this is the entrance, and they show the various buildings. There's buildings from 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s. You see now is the main building, and this is the area where you would be picked up by buses or different areas where they bring you to parks. There's a lot of parking and the hotels are very far apart. I'm gonna show you a little bit of inside, a little bit of outside, so you could see what it's like. This building is showing you the 80s and 90s. I stayed in the 80s, and right here they're showing you some of the 90s, and some of this is from the balcony of the hotel where I stayed. You can see they have a separate pool. There are at least two pools that I can tell because I walked around and that's what I saw. Two pools, one in this area and the main pool near the main building. There might be a third one in another area, but the buildings are very far apart. So we're going to take a look inside the building right now. Of course, they have beautiful things on the wall. Everything in Disney is always well done. The Pop Century Resort is located in the ESPN Wide World of Sports Resort area. So there are several other resorts in that area. You can see all the uh, waiting line for people to sign in. Now this one, this resort opened December 14th, 2003. It's the fourth valued price resort in the complex following All-Star Movies, All-Star Music, and All-Star Sports. They opened in the 90s. As you could tell, the resort is themed around the 20th century American pop culture. That's why it's called Pop Century. The original plans, they were going to call it Legendary Years and Classic Years and divide it in two parts, but they decided to call it Pop Century. Now look at the cool items on the wall. They're from different eras and different things that are between the 50s and the 80s. Lots of really cool memorabilia. Something that when you get there and you go to the hotel lobby, I would recommend you stop and take a look at. It's fun to reminisce, and if you have kids, you could tell them a little bit about what each item is. And they'll have fun looking inside. This is inside the um, store. Now, the restaurant was not opened. Um, we went and it was during coronavirus and they would not let us in there unless we had a reservation to eat or we were staying there and we were eating but we were staying there but we were not eating at that time and they were very limiting how many people could go in so we could not go into the restaurant but this is the store and this is some of the cool items that they have there are 2,880 rooms in Pop Century, which is quite a few. That's why there are so many different buildings. The fifth value price resort is the Art of Animation Resort, but this one is Pop Century, and I do recommend it. It, it was a very nice motel. It was very clean. We have another video of the room, and we're going to show you more of the outside, so stay with us, but right here is some more things you can find in the gift shop. Yes, they do have some candies and food if you are in need of food, because everybody wants snacks. Although the uh, rooms, each floor has a vending machine and an ice machine and a soda machine. So you can get snacks there if you need to eat, but you can't get as cute as snacks as these. Look at these cute little Disney ear bars. They are adorable. Now we are going outside again to show you what is outside 
some of the different rooms. There's really great decorations. They did a very good job. You can see there's a directory here, and you can see how far apart each hotel is. Okay, over here, outside that one has a yo-yo, which is always a lot of fun. And look at the beautiful designs on each building. And that is the pool. This is the main pool right here that we're showing you now. And some of the great things. This one is Play-Doh. Oh, who doesn't remember playing with Play-Doh and making a mess? I had a lot of fun with that. Here are some more cool designs and some more buildings and you can see outside the pool there's plenty of places to sit and they are social distancing they're far apart did you ever have a walkman i sure did and we are back and showing you the other pool just because we showed you one we want to make sure we show you a better one of the other one as well and how about the rubik's cube everybody had a rubik's cube and you know that's coming back everybody's having one now but this is the outside of another one of the buildings. Great designs, great things to walk around with the family. You, you will be very happy. An eight-track cassette tape. Your family will enjoy it, and there'll be a lot of memories, especially if you have children. And who doesn't remember Mr. Potato Head? Mr. and Mrs. right there. Great picture opportunities. You must walk around. You can't forget that. Oh, and I had one of those as a kid. I loved those. They were fun to ride. And look at that, a bigger than life soccer game with Mickey Mouse telephone in the background. And if you're up for it, after you have a long night at the parks, why not play a game of Twister? You can spin the Twister and find where you should go. There I am, ready to spin it and see what it lands on. Lots of fun. This one is another yo-yo. And over here, we have Goofy with a surfboard and a gorgeous car. I think it's a Corvette. When you walk towards the Skyliner, because you can get to the Skyliner from this, this is the beautiful view. Everything in here is just perfect. Well, thank you for watching. This is our video on Pop Century. I hope you enjoyed it, and please remember to subscribe.